What? This is the puniest little brush I've ever seen. Today, we're gonna be trying out four long wearing nail polishes. Now, I am well aware that a lot of factors contribute to the wear of your nail polish, but all the ones that I'm gonna be trying out promise a long wearing chip resistant manicure without the use of a top or base coat. So I'm really focusing on the longevity and quality of these nail polishes all on their own. So I am on a mission today to find the nail polish that has the staying power that I want and I need and I crave. The first polish we're gonna be trying out is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. This retails for $7.99 and this is the shade Pat on the Black. This is not black by any means. This is like a dark purple color. Strange. So in this one bottle of nail polish, we supposedly get a base coat, a strengthener with a keratin complex, growth treatment, salon inspired color, top coat, chip resistance, and a gel finish. All that for $7.99. Okay, first I'm gonna apply some Simply Peel around my nail so that I don't get any of the polish on my skin. It's just like a liquid latex type of barrier. So we're gonna start off with one thin coat. Right off the bat, I will say that the shape of this brush is kind of incredible. It's just like one of those flat paddle type brushes. And that color looks really, really beautiful. Wow, okay, okay. Okay, Sally Hansen. This is like the ultimate test is doing it on my non-dominant hand because that really tells me how easy a brush is to use. The one critique that I do have of this polish right now is that it is a bit patchy with just one application. I've tried polishes before that look pretty good with one coat, so I don't know. It's probably gonna be fine once I go in with my second coat, so let's do that right now. This already looks really, really good. I'm very impressed with how shiny and opaque it is. I'm loving how this looks with just two coats. This nail polish is actually pretty great and I cannot believe that I haven't tried it all of these years until right now. I'm kind of obsessed with how it looks now that it's on my nails because it really does look like a gel polish. It has like a very thick, glossy finish. So, so far for $7.99, this polish is in pretty good standing. I can't wait to see how it holds up for the rest of the week. I have been dying to take this nail polish off ever since it first started chipping. Um, and now my nails kind of just look really, really bad. But for the sake of science, um, here's what they look like. This is embarrassing. I hate when my nails look bad. It's truly one of the worst feelings. Oh, I feel like you definitely see some damage done though where a top coat might have been helpful. These nails look rough, oh my gosh. Anyway, I do think that for a cheaper nail polish that pretty much had to survive on its own, I am not disappointed, not blown away, but not disappointed. Moving on to our next nail polish, we are going to be trying out the Essie Gel Couture Nail Polish in the shade Rock the Runway. This is Rock the Runway. <laughs> These retail for $11. They are a drugstore nail polish. I do feel like 11 bucks for a polish is a lot, but Essie has always been on the pricier side of the drugstore, in my opinion. Let's break into this color that I am dying to get on my nails. Like, can we just imagine this and this together? I'm covering it up, but you can, you can see the vision. Essie girl. So this is what it looks like with two coats on. I have to go back in with my little cleanup brush because I did get polish in places where it shouldn't be. But other than that, I love this formula. It is just so smooth and creamy. It's really easy to control with that brush. And I feel like the color is also great. It's just like a little bonus. The color is so cute. I love it. It's so glossy and pretty. I'm really hoping 
that this one lasts as long as the others because right now this formula is just really doing it for me. Today was a hair washing day. I do wash my hair once a week and I like scrub, I get all up in there and that's when I do notice chipping in my nail polish. This time around though, only two of my nails were chipped once I got out of the shower. And this is day seven, so I assume that this polish has been weakening over time. I don't know, this is just kind of amazing. It did perform even better than the Sally Hansen did, and I thought that one was good, but that one was definitely more chippy than this one is. I noticed when I got out of the shower that these two fingers were the only fingers with like very obvious chips in them. Now we're gonna move on to one of our more expensive nail polishes. This is the Deborah Lippman Gel Lab Pro, and this is $20. I don't think I've ever paid $20 for a nail polish before because that is too much if you ask me, but I'm really interested to try this brand because it is one of the better known like high-end nail polish brands out there. Even though the word gel is in the name of this polish, this is a gel-like nail polish, so there's no like lights or anything like that involved. It's very similar to the Essie one where it just has a very shiny, glossy, thick finish. Let's see this brush. Ooh, yep, we got another paddle brush. That's pretty good with one swipe. This color is so cute. It's like blurple. <laughs> Beautiful. Everything is going on really, really smoothly. There's no like lumps or bubbles. I don't know if it's because this polish cap is more like weighty. It's just pretty easy to use. I think it's the easiest one that I've used so far. I'm loving how this nail polish looks so far. I feel like this is a $20 nail polish, you know? It was easy to apply, it has a beautiful shiny finish, and it's super opaque. You don't really need more than two coats for it to look this good. Um, we gotta talk. We gotta have a little chat, Deborah. This nail polish is not lasting as long as I thought it was gonna. I feel like in general, this formula, when I was applying, I noticed it was thinner than the other two. Maybe that's why it's chipping this quickly. I'm not really sure, but it's weird because it is called like a gel formula. So I don't know, I don't know what it is, but the color is still super vibrant. I really love this color and it's stayed bright. It hasn't like faded at all. I just think that for $22, it's definitely not lasting as long as it should. This is the Christian Louboutin nail polish in the shade Moula Lisa. This is $50. If you're like me and you're just like a casual nail polish wearer, I don't think that you would ever buy something like this. I don't know, $50 for a nail polish is just kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts to me. What? This is the puniest little brush I've ever seen. This is the line that really has me so confused? It says, highly pigmented, super glossy formula achieves in just two coats the effect of 20 layers of traditional lacquer. I don't think that that's true. Like that can't be true, right? Two coats, here we go. This brush is not bad actually. Wow, okay, yeah, this brush is actually pretty dang good. I feel like it's spreading the color really evenly and holy smokes. I know that that was a pretty thick layer, but that is like really vibrant and nice on my nail. It's very opaque. This color is a choice that I made and I have to live with. I feel like the weight of the brush isn't exactly working in my favor when it comes to doing my opposite hand. I don't know why, I just feel so much more shaky right now. It's like a little stringy and a little gloopy sometimes. Very weird. Now that I'm looking at this color on my hands, I'm pretty sure that I wore a sweater the exact same color in this video while filming this. Oops. I look like a fool right now. <laughs> I cannot tell you how happy I am that it's day seven and I can take off this Christian Louboutin polish because, oh my God, I look like a witch.
It's like stained my nails so freaking bad. They're all yellow. And I know that staining isn't like a huge, huge deal, but it's still frustrating and kind of annoying that a $50 polish would do that to me. Like personally, to me. One thing I can say is that from a few days ago, the chipping hasn't gotten that much worse, but it was already bad to begin with. So I feel like, is that a positive? I don't think so. Hey guys, so tragically, or tragic for me, I lost a bunch of footage for this video, so we're just gonna wrap things up right here in my home. Let's get into the worst. This nail polish was not very impressive right off the bat. It started chipping really, really fast, faster than all the other polishes, and on top of that, it stained my nails so badly. So obviously, worst has to go to the $50 Christian Louboutin nail polish. Now moving on to the best nail polish. This nail polish was very easy to apply and super opaque right off the bat. It stayed shiny throughout the entire week that I wore it and it chipped the least out of all of the nail polishes that I tried. I think that I have to say that the best long lasting nail polish formula has to go to the $11 Essie Gel Couture Polish. Let's start on the hand that I hate the most. Wait, no. I love my right hand the most. I hate my left hand. <laughs> my non-dominant hand. No, we're starting on my dominant hand. You paint with your non-dominant hand and you start on your dominant hand. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's start on my right hand. This is the ugly sister 